Hey guys, Zuljan here. Welcome back to another episode of Voxy Tactics. It's your favorite Voxy's ambassador here to bring you another sponsored video on Voxy Tactics. We are pretty much at the end of the season, guys, and we're pretty much at the end of this battle, too. I'm getting out of here with 3,000 damage because all I really need is uh, a little bit of damage. The competition is over. And as you can see, uh, get a little bit of bones. Get out safely. I used my swamp. I try to keep enough mana to use my swamp thing. I had one of my, my zombies die early on. So I wasn't really worried about holding a fort because the competition for total damage is now over. The leaderboards have finally finished up here. And uh, I guess we're going to load up, but I'll, sh I'll show you where I'm at on the leaderboards. So yeah, uh, I have 852 total bones after that battle. And uh, <laughs> it looks like I'm doing pretty well. I'm about 148 bones away from another chest, and I have gotten so lucky on chests, you guys. I ended up getting one epic, but out of the four chests that I've opened so far, I've gotten some really, really, really good prizes. The, I, I, you know, I captured the footage, but it actually got uh, deleted by <laughs> accident. I was so upset. But look at this, y'all look at this uh let's see 19 days ago is when i first started opening chest i got my first two roaring inferno chest opened them up and i got a bone dragon pet and a hermes winged sandals and i actually got another pair of hermes winged sandals and an epic like a, a dragon uh, curse i think so yeah i i can't complain guys two hermes boots so i had an uncommon uh samurai and a common pirate that both had three movement speed that i had been looking to be able to utilize so uh currently my two uh best scholars or two of my uh my my most active scholars are using those hermes boots on their teams and uh they're doing really really well with them so we're we're winding down with the season and i did all right if we go here to uh the the dragon fest uh section of the voxy tactics uh, leaderboards that they're over by the way two days ago they actually finished up and i think it's on may 8th is the, the actual the the final day of the event we'll, we'll no longer be able to fight the dragon but you're gonna have plenty of time to do um to to cash in for the bones for boxes and unbox them and and do all of that stuff the the team has assured us that we're gonna have plenty of time to do stuff but you can see here that I came in at 35th place, and that's not bad. I'll take it, right? So uh, for 35th place, we're going to have the option to get some rare gems, which man, is it, it's not really a thing, right? But there are some unique wings, bone, worn bone wings. Now, if you go up into the higher parts of the leaderboard, you'll start seeing that you'll be able to get epic crystals, and a little bit higher, the wing style changes to bone dragon wings. We don't know what these bone dragon wings are going to do yet or the worn dragon wings uh but you could bet that these are going to be the big ones the skeletal lord wings i have no idea i i imagine that this might be like a godly status item or something like that not really sure if it's a cosmetic or just it's going to be extremely rare but there's only three of them one for this reward one for the top damage reward and one for the total damage reward as well as some extra bone dragon pets some legendary crystals some bone uh, some uh some some other voxies voxy 8500 is up for grabs for place two voxy number eight for place one on top damage you got a godly blueprint and another draco and in total fragments you got a godly blueprint and voxy 8724 so a lot of prizes up for grabs super red did really really good at number one spot for the total fragments uh to my understanding he had a lot of scholars that were um that were doing um 100% bones to him and some scholarships are set up like that I have a couple of my guys that didn't really have strong teams that wanted to do um, Just the PvE event. So I gave them their regular tokens worth in a week their average amount of tokens and in exchange They just played the PvE event. They didn't have to worry about getting wins or losses or that much downtime And it worked out pretty good for them. So in total damage though, these are the guys that just put in a lot, a lot, a lot of work and just tried to get this. Gilgamesh is up way ahead. These are in the millions, guys. 
uh, 14,334,607 points of damage, which is like a whole million above <laughs> Lemgi, which is nuts, right? That is a lot of damage. If we go to top damage, you'll see that this is much more competitive. Cuddy is at, or it might be Cootie, but I'm pretty sure it's Cuddy, at 48,270. And right behind him, uh, Meka, I think that's how you say it, is 400, uh, 48,029. And I mean, at third place, quite a bit behind with Delita. But you can see here that uh, the first and second spots are really, really going at it here. And there's not a whole lot separating uh, the next few either, which changes the rewards pretty drastically, you know? The Bone Wings, I think, is where everybody's at um, as, as far as, you know, the, the competitive spots and naturally the, the top two spots. But the Bone Dragon Pits, their prices come down considerably from the beginning just because the market is a little more saturated with them as the same as legendary crystals but honestly i like the fact that the legendary crystals are more affordable now i think some of them have been selling anywhere between five and seven hundred um, uh, voxel tokens which when you think about it if you have a physical epic and a few of the essences which are also much much more available now you can craft some legendary weapons for relatively inexpensive, which is a really, really good thing. It helps you gear up and stuff. I've been able to do this with my last infusion video. If you missed it, I did a bow, which was, I'd been trying to get a second legendary lightning bow for a long time. And recently I craft one of those, um, the, the a Tachi, which was a physical Tachi, an epic Tachi to a legendary Tachi so that I could get a little bit of the action with my samurai with them new pairs of boots man i never had a legendary katana so i went ahead and equipped him now he's got the boots and the katana and he's he's ready to roll and uh dreamer my scholar that's using him is absolutely uh absolutely enjoying him so it's really really good so all in all i feel pretty good about my rank y'all but i'd love to know where you came out in uh in the rankings in the comments and stuff you can let me know other than that guys i really want to know what you guys want to see next you know so after the PVE event, we're probably going to have a little wait before the next updates, meaning that we're going to be waiting for a little while for the Unity upgrades with the, the new game launcher, well, the new game client, I guess you could say, in the Unity engine. And there's probably going to be a lot of stuff to come along with that. So the content is going to be real, real heavy when that happens. But right now, I'm just going to be doing weekly videos on whatever you guys suggest. Maybe we'll do some class spotlights. Maybe we'll do some newbie tutorials. We might even do some meta talk and to see how that's going. I'd love to do some interviews with the team and the different members of the team uh, to kind of get some different perspective on the development and even do some development updates and stuff. So you guys let me know in the comments what y'all want to see. I would love, love, love to hear what you have to say and how you enjoyed the event altogether. Guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure to leave a like on the video and leave your comments. Look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.